Alright. So, if I remember correctly, this is batch 5 and 6 that I tumbled. So I have, um, you know, I'll show you it. So I have this double barrel right now they're being washed because I just got done doing it today. I have another one um, I set off to the side on the floor so I can use the countertop. But here's where one plugs in and behind me where I'm showing you the rocks today. That's where the other one plugs in. This little guy was like 70 bucks. Um, I bought some extra belts with it and stuff. One I've had since December I think and one I've had for the last month and a half. And so far they're excellent. A little noise problem in the beginning but I figured it out. Um, it wasn't so much the rods there, it was this piece. The only fault on, on this machine so far is that that plastic piece that keeps the metal top, which is this, from rubbing against this metal. Now it's supposed to be rounded like where you see the screw is and it gets worn away. And once in a while it squeaks so that's why you see two of the tops with black because I put a little bit of motor oil, just a dab with a Q-tip and then it stops squealing. Other than that, so far this thing is great. Um, it really is. And it does a great job on rocks way bigger than you're even supposed to put in it. I don't go over the weight limit but uh, of, I think, three pounds each barrel. But I go over the size limit. They're supposed to be one inch and smaller. I've done up to, like, probably three inch rocks. And they're good to go. So that's what you're looking at. I got it at a place called Harbor Freight online. It comes with a 90-day warranty. Um, you can get an extra warranty for it if you would like. Alright, so I'll probably title this video something like Rock Tumbling Chicago Blah 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 um, Batch 5 and 6 Cut and Polished Rocks. So this is going to be an interesting one. So it's going to probably be a long video. But there's a lot of cool things I want to show you today in here. I'm going to go through most of this fast because I want to get to the cut and polish stuff. And the reason I'm doing them together is because... I, I did cut and polished, but I also did some of the material tumble. And so I want to show you the difference side by side of what happened. I'm going to show you some things in water so when things don't come out that well, you if you do like me, I have fish tank rocks, which I'm going to show you because I have a really beautiful piece of that stuff and some of that stuff in the fish tank. Um, so when you don't like the way they come out tumbled or maybe even cut and polished, throw them in the water which I'm going to show you here and you can do fish tank rocks with it. Now I don't use fish because um, sometimes my camera zooms uh, unfocuses so just give me a, a moment or two during this and it will focus. Because um, I don't want the tank to get filled with algae or dirty or anything like that and I've had the tanks for about a year and a half and they work out excellent and when the lights are off at night um, in the house but I have the fish tank lights on they're excellent. So. A lot of different materials today, and again, I have four barrels, two machines, two barrels each, four barrels. So what you're seeing here is one barrel. Um, this here was another barrel. This beautiful stuff that came out better than I thought was a barrel, and these guys were a barrel with that odd piece of wood over there. So I'll start with this because I want to get these out of the way and show you. So these three here are from that rock right there. I'm going to show you that why I got it out. So these were um, tumbled. That rock, I'm going to show you the inside, cut and polish so you can see the difference. Um, <clears throat> and again, you'll also see it in water. So those are that three. Let me just move this water aside a little bit so I can get my camera to focus. I'm not too, too long because I got some beautiful stuff in the other room that goes with what you saw to the left. So um, this guy here and this guy here belongs with this group right there. If you can't see it now, I'll show you it up close. My camera just doesn't do all that well um, focusing inside. Outside it does a lot better. So these rocks here, the counterpart, <clears throat> excuse me, the counterpart to this rock is in the other room. Um, they're cut and polished. <clears throat> excuse me for that. All right, so it's a serpentine type mineral group. Now, um, I don't know, I don't have my sheet with me, but I do recall, um, uh, I forget how you say it, chrys crystalline or something like that. I don't know. I don't have it on with me right now. And then there's Williamsite, Lizardite, Nephrite. They're all part of the um, serpentine uh, group and subgroup. I don't know what this is. 
this wants to be sort of gemmy, but it's more like a stone, more like a rock. And it didn't polish all that great on most of them. Uh, excuse me. Well, yeah, polished. I should say tumbled because the other ones are cut and polished, and I, they're actually polished. These are tumbled, even though there's a polishing stage. So these two came out pretty good. And there. So you can see that came out pretty good. But again, it doesn't look as impressive as the rest of them probably because of the it has like a powdery type buildup in it you know what i mean and more stone like but it came out good but it looks excellent in the water and this one again came out really decent too the big guy i thought was going to come out good now what i did is if you notice some of these um well i would say okay so natural natural and natural natural and natural uh, everything else is cut so when I have edged pieces and I'm working with material and I have a um, you know an edge or little bits left and they look like they could be polished I throw them in the polisher um, just to see what happens and you know all the time they'll come out good so what you're seeing here is when you say there are some odd stones how does he find stones in that shape it's because I had a bigger material and when I get to this one especially I'll explain it and I'll show you a rock that's like it so I was making slabs and then afterwards what I do is whatever pieces are left I'll throw in the tumbler and stuff like that same goes for when I cut those into shapes and everything um, that's what happens so this guy right here if my camera will focus it's a little bit rough um, and again those white streaks in it I don't know what kind of m mineral that is but let's see here Sometimes my camera does better when I hold it lower. There it goes. So you can see it's, you know, it's, it almost doesn't look polished on that level, but, you know, it's got a nice look to it. It's green. And, you know, to find something green is pretty cool. And again, these are cut, so, you know, some of them will stand, some of them won't. Now, one, two, three, four different of those um, serpentine type crystally gemstone material. Um, and like I said, this guy here and this guy here, that goes to these guys right here. So these were um, just a beauty to find, but it doesn't look like anything. And it's a tumbled stone. And for whatever reason, the shape maybe, it didn't tumble all that well or didn't hold, but if you put it under water it glows and this doesn't even have the lighting from the fish tank because I'm in the kitchen obviously but you can see the difference how beautiful that is you can look into the rock a little bit and see the gemminess now of that so don't ever throw your rocks away always dip them in water and when I show you my fish tank setup you'll be like wow that's really cool again this one too really briefly here it lights up really nice in the water some better than others all right, so that's just a thing you could do, whether you're an adult or for your kids or whatever, and you can see the difference. Um, and some of these do too, so I'll just give you a quick look at this. Compare it side by side. Yeah, it's not picking up the focus, but you can tell. All right, so let me get these out of the way so I can show you some other ones. All right, so let me move on to these. So it doesn't look that great. You can sort of see there to the top. You can sort of see that beautiful um, gemmy green flow. It came out pretty nice. It's just my camera is not doing all that well. It's not as shiny as the rest of them that I'm going to show you. But it did come out better. Uh, this one. And... They make off these ones make awesome in the fish tank. They're a step up. This one came out really good. There it goes. And again, good, a decent polish, more stone like, but this gemmy stuff that swirls through it is awesome. There you can get a better idea there. So let me show you this real quickly in here. And then I'm going to show you the stone that it came from. 
So now you see the difference. And that's not even my camera focused yet. But so it came out really nice. Let me put it down over here. Sorry for the rough camera too. For the fast camera. Sorry about that. Ah boy. I hope this picks up because it's absolutely gorgeous. There you go. So. Kind of see that right. Bottom is not as gemmy, it's more stone-like. But that top, now I'll just wet these briefly and bring them over here. The camera won't pick it up, right? I think you get the idea though. There it goes. So it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, the whitish, the light greens, and on the top of my finger there, again, so you might say, ah, they look decent. Make sure you put them in water, especially like a guy like this. This one's absolutely beautiful. All right. So you put them in water. Now I'm going to show you what the rock looked like. I don't want to get it wet. So I came across this and this cutting and stuff is all new to me over the past year, literally about a year now. But when I can see some jemmy stuff going through it, it may be worth cutting, even though this rock looks kind of cruddy and all that, it may be worth it, right? So, this was the outside edge again, and you can see that beautiful green in there. And I thought, well, what's inside? It could be a mess, it could be this mess inside with some green, or it could be something nice. And that's what I found. Now, it's got polished on it. See the difference in the mirrored finish from cutting and polished than the tumble? Now, I don't know if my camera can pick it up as well, but I'm trying to hold it on the right angle. So as you saw in that beautiful larger rock that I had of the three, you can see that beautiful green. There it goes. And it's an interesting rock. It's a beautiful rock art. I call it rock art. And then on the other side as well. So it's a little hard because of the mirrored finish bouncing off the camera. But that's a beautiful a rock inside isn't it I mean look at that now over here I was gonna give some of these some of these are gonna give away to my family back home I think um, I know my little nephew likes it I was wondering if any of the adults would like some of this stuff but let's see really briefly here this was the one I was gonna give away of course now the camera messes up but all right well you get the picture it's it's just like the other one I showed you. I, I'm not sure what. There it goes. It has got beautiful greens and blues. And again, it's a little bit hard and deceiving. There's even some greenish in here, but you can't really make it out. And that was the side of the rock again. So that's what was outside. And that's what was inside. And it looks really great when you have them set up like that or like this, you know. All right, let me pause for a second, get some things organized. All right, so you never know what's in a rock, and a, a one like that is absolutely beautiful. So here is this guy here was about the size of a softball or an orange, and it has this druzy crystally stuff on the outside. It looks like petrified wood. It may not right now because I cut it, but it looked like petrified wood. And as you can see, it's pretty light colored blues and browns in there, even a violet. Now when I tumbled this one over here, this is natural after I cut it. This one is a little bit darker after polish and came out pretty good. Again, underwater looks great. I don't need to show you that, but whether it's some kind of quartzy jasper or a really petrified wood, I don't know. It was, wasn't so hard to cut, so I'm thinking it might not be petrified wood, even though it looks like it. The outside of this had grains and stuff, and it sort of reminded me of that. So that's there just to show you what that guy looked like. And let's see, I'll go through these as fast as I can and show you how beautiful. This is a larger rock. There's like two more pieces. Um, so it would be out to like here. And if it shows correctly, see the beauty of this swirly brown and everything. It's just absolutely cool in that quartz. There it goes. And it got a good finish on it as well. Now I just did these today. I didn't burnish them or anything, which is a term that they use for 
I don't know, after the polish stage um, to clean it up, get any like, uh, what do they call it? I don't know, any glaze or, or film off of it. Um, I've done it a couple of times. It doesn't seem like it really did anything different. But, um, oh boy, my videos could be five to set, ten minutes shorter if my camera would focus with ease. This is actually a beautiful rock and underwater. I'll show you this one underwater. So hold on one sec. So there's that one underwater. And again, in the fish tank, it would look absolutely amazing. Uh, you can see deeper into there. All right. So that's that one. Now go to this one again. I don't know what these are. Um, it's got these beautiful purples, swirls, some oranges in it like that and like that. Now I want to show you what I actually see that you guys don't get to see. Oh, maybe not. So you can see how you can see through the rock a little bit and the oranges. Let me see if I go like this. So when I'm holding it down, it turns darker and you can see the colors better maybe, but you're not getting the, the same kind of view as I get when I'm seeing it. You know what I mean? I wetted it. But this is another beautiful rock and I have another piece to still do, which is awesome. And again, let's see if I can do this. So you can kind of see it there, the swirls and the purples and all that. And then like I showed you, the oranges and everything do it a lot of justice. There you go. Maybe that's what I'm trying to show you in the light up there. So again, you're not getting to see the whole rock excellent like I do. Um, but you get the idea how beautiful this one is. It's just absolutely cool. All right, let's show you these two here. I don't know what this is. It was very, very difficult to cut. One of the hardest ones I've ever had to cut. And it's caramel and browns and looks like a Milky Way galaxy. And again, the colors might not come out all that well, but it's beautiful. And I cut them purposely like this so they would stand up like a pillar. And boy, as soon as I pick the rock up, you can't see the colors. But there's like purple and swirls and browns. And the same thing here, if I hold it up at a certain angle, there you go. You can see um, into the rock a little bit more or the crystal. And again, it was really difficult. This is why I thought this might be petrified wood as well. Um, the design here, it could just be a lookalike, a fake. But it was hard to cut. It was really hard. And that's why I didn't get any... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't get any slabs out of it to polish on the uh, machine because it was just too difficult to get a nice cut on it. And, um, you know, they say quartz is seven and petrified wood could be up to an eight. And so, yeah, this, whatever this is, was really difficult. Beautiful, though. And then over here are two smaller pieces. And again, I cut them. That's why they look like this shape. And it's a shame you can't really see it because that spot and that gorgeous spot are like this red, reddish purple. And I'm not sure how to hold them. I go through this with every video. Some show really beautiful and some just don't really show you what I'm seeing at all. But they're absolutely beautiful. And this one here, this these rocks here, because they are more quartzy, you can see pretty much into them. Let me see if I can show you here. There, it might light it up a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. The color came out a little bit better, the reds. But you get the idea of that, right? Um, let's see what other ones really here over here. This was an interesting one. If it focuses, maybe. Again, it's swirled colors. It looks really cool. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it, but 
What a shame. There, as soon as I got it, but I didn't get it on the right angle. So it, there you go. All kinds of swirls and colors in there. Really nice. There, that. All right. These are just some cool orangey um, chalcedony bubble quartz, I call it. And they tumbled real well. Tiger stripe one looks nice. I'll give these away. Now, moving on to this fairly quickly here. So the video isn't too long. Um, these came out better than I thought. They don't have a great, huge, shiny polish because they are like stone, what I call stone. I think the green stuff is epidot, but I'm, or epidote, I don't know how to say that. And there's some swirls of quartz in some of these. So let me show you the Master Rock. Not the exact Master Rock, but I got a set of these I found. And I cut one about a little bit smaller than this. I got a big saw, so I was able to cut it. So all this crystally stuff here. Haha. <laughs> Well, you can sort of see it. So this rock has got all these crystally stuff that I think is epidot and whatever else on it. And the rest of it is like stone. And it's soft looking and it's soft cutting, powdery type stone. So I wasn't sure how that would polish. I knew that this would grind down and polish good because it's crystal in material. Now it turns, now it zooms in, right? But if I get up close, maybe. Anyway, you can see what it is. Now I'm gonna show you over here. So I cut a, a, a smaller rock of that, it was about half the size. And this is how the outside looked again. And this is how some of the inside looked. And this one I didn't get that great of a polish on all the sides. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle and tumble it because this side came out good. But this side, you can see in the middle, it has a little bit of a warp in it. So I don't like that. And this side came out good. But it really is a beautiful, rock and, and the green and everything so now that I know and here's another good version now that I know they came out again it was warped so I cut it I'm gonna polish it it looks like um an ancient uh, pillar or something that crumbled at the top so that's really cool and you can see there from a distance that cool color so I don't know what it is but it did polish well real well I mean not shiny shiny because of the material it is compared to the rest but it still came out really beautiful. And um, here's a piece like that one over there. That's why I know it will come out good. The more of that green stuff and the more quartz, the more beautiful it will come out. Yeah, oh, man, this camera takes up so much time. Let's see. Darn, it's the best piece. There we go. That's an excellent piece. And this green here is just awesome. And when you see that, the swirls in it, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. So that bigger piece I just showed you that I said I was going to cut and tumble, it's going to look awesome, probably even better than this. And let me just see if I can keep this position. Even the brown stuff, that was more brown came out really nice and some of them like this one here you can stand up so you can make them in different designs and that's some of the green that's more of the powdery green not the epidot crystal green and it did well I didn't think it would do anything so that was really cool and just really briefly like so they all came out really nice um, the more green and the more awesome it came out and that's a good thing some of them came out really nice and now move on to this real quickly here this didn't come out as great i didn't think it would but i wanted to try it it was petrified wood that wasn't as petrified as most wood is um but it was this really cool red it's pretty neat still that part right there it's actually crystally and my camera focused, you could see it. So now let's move on to this. This material here, right there, is in the other room, which I'll show you. Now this stuff is all part of this here. So this, there was one giant football, American football, not a soccer ball, American football. 
all right and even when I cut them like this they still tumbled really well not not incredibly well because I guess a shape like this in the tumbler just won't do incredibly well at times although thicker versions have done well and again these were all cut similar shape but when they're really thin but I'm thinking about let's see if I can do this so you can uh, you can see through it it's really neat so I'm thinking of one day if I get the skills it's not flat enough to put on my polisher it's a little warped so maybe a professional or something to smooth it down really great and put it in a pendant or something it will look just so cool and again because my camera doesn't want to show you coolness you'll just have to believe me and here's another version of it too this one didn't come out as good but still cool and here's an example and I'm showing you these for the tumbler as well that you can cut and tumble them if you mess up cutting them and they can't fit on your polisher and you don't want to go through all the hassle of trying to get them even just throwing different shapes in I cut long and skinny on purpose just to see how my tumble would do and you can even stand them up and it came out excellent it came out absolutely excellent it's a really beautiful gray and white swirls in there and they came out perfect like that um, again they're all the same material this one has a little blue in it a little green in it and so these were the end pieces that I just cut off and instead of wasting I tumble them because I know kids would like them or like I said you can use them in decoration you could get a glass bowl and uh, let's see if I have it here I did this years ago for my massage business they're like glass or something probably and you see how pretty they look in there so you can do that with tumbled rocks as well um, on a plate a bowl or into something like that all right so that's these here now this is a little bit interesting and different um, different rock I'm going to show you in a minute this piece right here where my thumb is covering is a reflective type material so that's why it does that on its own the whole rock is polished but you can see it's sort of a little bit better um, I don't think I'm going to get all this on film so this came out pretty nice and you can see it's unique I'm going to show you it's this thing right here cruddy right not so cruddy huh gorgeous right now this is cut and polished so that's why it looks so beautiful and you can see the green and oh there we go thanks camera you can see how gorgeous that is so that is this where did it come from this guy this is another serpentine type group minus this yucky powdery whitish yellow the whole rock is crystallized so I might not show you but all this green and there you go everything is crystal under here is that green stuff that you saw in the cut piece now this rock was too big to put on the saw and you know the whole backside is all crystal and everything only this thin turtle like shell the rest of it is what you saw inside there um, and again it's hard with the lighting and everything um, so I, I tried to hopefully take a, a railroad tie that I had a railroad, you know, spike and a hammer. I was hoping to crack it in half because I, what I originally wanted to do was cut it in half, but it wouldn't fit on my polisher anyway. So I was hoping to crack a nice piece, but it only cracked like that big. And I got another piece I'm sending to my family. So what you saw is this stuff in here. So even though it looks cruddy like that, you can see how actually beautiful it is. And that white powdery stuff actually polishes even though it doesn't look crystally and shiny. So that right here is that yucky on the outside, gorgeous on the inside, and it polishes as well. Now I did this on my own a couple polishes back, same as all the stuff right there and here. Uh, I'm keeping this for myself because even if you can't see it, it is absolutely beautiful. The swirls of the white flowing through like clouds or waves are really awesome you won't be able to see it because my camera now doesn't want to do it but trust me let's see <laughs> ah man it's actually really beautiful it's one of the nicest ones it's one of, oh jeez there it goes there it goes and again 
when you're holding it in a certain angle, you can see what I'm talking about. If this thing goes to rest on me, this camera, I will um, finish a part two with this because I really want them to go together so you can see the tumbled versus that. Now this was just a river stone that came out absolutely beautiful. There's a giant one about mm, two, the size of a grapefruit and a half, perfectly round with a cut out of it. And it looks like this, even better, even better than this. So I'm going to go back and get it and see if I can cut it because um, it looks awesome. This one looks beautiful under the water too. Again, it looks a little bit not so great here, but it's pinkish and peaches under there. All right, so um, let me do this. So this right here, oh, this right here over is one rock. It was like the size of American football. I think my camera might go out. So if it does, love you guys. Bear with me, I'll do a part two for this um, because I really wanted to get this on one video, but the camera just doesn't cooperate. So these are leftover pieces that I just found that I had tossed it aside, and I, now what I'm going to do is i got to recut some things. So I'm going to cut these into designs here, um, like you're going to see over here. And I just wanted to show you, like for instance, this was part of the outside of the rock, kind of cruddy, kind of gummy, melted looking. But inside, you know, absolutely beautiful, shiny, gem-like stuff. And so I'm going to do that here. Not too much to show you there. But the rock, as you can see, changes color. So for instance, over here, this was one of the nubs I saw. And I'm like, wow, this thing is mostly crystal. But on the other side there is all that gummy type stuff. All right? But it had enough of this that I could cut it. And even though it was the size of the football, I was able to trim off some of the things some of the edges on a slant and once I cut it down a little bit without losing material I'm like here's some instant here's some stuff on here gummy crystally all kinds of stuff um look what was inside that look how beautiful that is got a nice shine on it too so some I kept like that slab as rock art and then I slabbed both sides of this guy right here this has actually got to be repolished I got another disc so now I can get those marks out this was like in the beginning when I was first new at it so those marks I'll get out of there now. It's a soft material, probably around a five. So you got to be careful after you cut it. You don't want to try to grind it too much because it will make a mess and then you can't fix it. So i rather have it like this. But now that i got an in-between disc, I should be able to fix that. But you can see how beautiful it is. And that was the edge of it. Gummy, 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 cruddy. But bam, beautiful inside. And you're not really picking up because I'm whipping it around fast, but let's see here. How did, I, how did I do that? It's actually got a nice light green to it. All right. Nice light green. 